Hey everyone, we're going to go through Xbox Remote Play. So this is a pretty cool feature that allows you to play your Xbox on your phone instead of on the big TV screen. So if you go to their website, uh, there's a nice picture of a controller and um, an iPhone connected. And that's, here's what you need. So you need some sort of uh, you know phone. You need an Xbox Series XS or uh, Xbox One. I've got the Xbox One. A compatible Bluetooth controller. You need to put the Xbox app on your phone. Yeah, and an account, and it all needs to be on the same internet connection. So when once you put the app on, you will see it looks just like your home screen on your Xbox. And what's interesting is up in the top right, you'll see this little box thing next to the alert. We'll click on that, and that gets you to, to start the setup process for your console. So make sure you're on the same network. You're going to do add an existing console because you have an existing console on your network. So you're basically going to start here, as long as you're on the same network, you're gonna get this, it says, hey, enter the code on your TV, and the Xbox on, you should see the code. Uh, just a couple of things also, you may see something like this, where it says to, you have to turn on the instant on, you can test remote play, and actually what I found out when I ran through the test was that my um, controller was out of date. So I went and did the update controller, and this was all before anything was really set up. So it all started with adding that uh, remote console. I did the firmware update, took a few minutes, and then when it was all said and done and I logged back in on my phone, you could see one of the options was to remote play with this device. I selected that. You can see I'm playing Tony Hawk here. I just have the phone propped up. But you can see it matches what's on the TV. So the idea here is that you turn the TV off and then go uh, take your phone somewhere, play somewhere else in the house or whatever, right? Now, this is just to show you if you have problems in the settings under devices and connections where you can turn on and test remote play, you can enable those features. So just if you run into something with uh, when you're first starting up, you can come back here and check all this. Hope that helps and have fun. Take care. Thanks.